The art of writing pisanke is a very old art that is practiced today and has been practiced for centuries. It began in um, pre-Christian times, uh, pagan times when the pisanka was uh, used to uh, wish good health and uh, good uh, prosperity and uh, send blessings to people. February 24th, 2022, Russia invaded Ukraine. On this day, many of us were horrified with this aggressive invasion. And we decided that perhaps we would do what we could do to help. And that was to continue with our Pisanka project and campaign it as Pisankas for Peace. So with each Pisanka, people can break those chains and break this horrible uh, war that we are all witnessing and bring it to an end. As we send, the more Pisankas we send, the stronger our resolve and resilience is and our blessings are sent to people of Ukraine and we pray for them and for the end of the war. It's really important to my cousin who's chosen to stay in Kiev. She is 75. Uh, her family has left, her daughter and her granddaughter, Mariana and Kristinka, have gone to, to safety and they um, are, are hoping to return. And Ola gets great strength to know that people in the world, in Canada, in Ottawa here, where I live, care and want to support the Ukrainian, Ukraine and, and Ukrainians who are fighting this war and supporting democracy and freedoms that we all value in this country very much. People who are interested in participating in the workshops are welcome to visit our website, our church website, or go to Eventbrite. They continue on the weekends, and w those who are not able to attend, we have piss and cut kits that are coming out tomorrow and will be available at our bazaar on April the 16th. So please uh, continue to write your piss and cause for peace, and the more that we have, uh, the greater the chances will be for an end to this war. And we send our blessings to Ukraine and the Ukrainian people.